Congratulations to her. And now we turn our attention to the weather. And uh, Adam, what are you seeing in the Weather Center? Well, I am seeing now meteorological summer. We're officially in it here now that we started off June. And me meteorological spring, boy, was it a cool and a wet one? It was for sure. March through May, which covers the time of meteorological spring. Uh, Average temperature just under 49 degrees. Normally it should be around 51, so we were down by about 2.4 degrees off of where we should normally be. And really, May stood out just even more because we had an average temperature of 52.6. That's down by about 5 degrees where it should normally be. Plus, we got a lot of rain in May. Actually, it was the second highest amount of rain that we have seen in any May on record out at SeaTac Airport. Uh, March was also cooler than normal. Not too big of a difference there. April pretty chilly, especially if you can remember what was happening across the southern part of the state earlier on in April. There was snow down that way. Well, things have changed as far as that, but we can still see right now still kind of gloomy outside. We're starting to warm up a little bit, but this will be the theme of today. You can see how you have a lot of clouds in the sky, but you can still see the base of Mount Rainier that high filtered cloud coverage will be filtered sunshine, and that's what we're going to have here for a lot of the day. I mean, yeah, for the most part, kind of cloudy, but we do have some of that sun still making its way down to the surface. Westport, we look out closer to the coast. Not too much wind as we have, yes, a warm front helping to develop a few light showers out that way, but for the most part, dry. 64, mostly cloudy skies, and we have that west wind coming in at 6 miles per hour. 65 in Shelton, 68 in Bremerton, right now in the mid-60s in Olympia. Mid to upper 50s as you get around Oak Harbor at 59 there, 64 in Mount Vernon, 59 out closer to the coast for Forks. Here's the radar. We got some of those showers here that are starting to show themselves. Now, I think mainly will be across the Olympic Peninsula and more so the tip of the Olympic Peninsula with areas farther towards the east, seeing hardly anything at all. But those showers are trying to scoot their way a little farther to the east. But as they do so, they'll continue to die off as this is a weakening front that is arriving. But it is going to get close enough that it's going to help to bring in a little more of that warmth as we go on here into the next day or so. So here we go for today. Filtered sunshine, areas of light rain out closer to the coast. Keep an eye out too here across the mountains. Small chances of seeing some of those around. And then we head into Thursday, and that's when we start to see a few more breaks in the clouds, which will lead to that warm up being even more pronounced. Highs back in the mid 70s for some of those locations. Then by tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, we start to see these clouds begin to build back up again. I think better chances around Puget Sound of seeing just a few showers around. Most of the activity will be primarily here across the Cascades and up across the Olympics. Now we'll continue on into tomorrow night. You'll see some of those showers and storms move on through. And then by Friday, that's when we'll start to see a little more headway in some of the shower activity. Thicker clouds back in place, cooler air starting to arrive. We'll start to see those highs fall back into the 60s into the upcoming weekend. Today, though, I think we're going to see a lot of 70s. Low to set mid 70s around Bremerton at 70, 71 in Olympia. Upper 60s around Everett, Oak Harbor topping off in about 60, so a bit cooler there. And then lows tonight, low to mid 50s, even holding on possibly into the upper 50s in Seattle as we drop down to about 57 degrees. Here's your forecast next seven days. Filtered sunshine today with a high of 72. Keep an eye out for a shower. Very small chance of a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon with a little more instability around. Then the highs start to fall back into more of those uh, mid to upper 60s into the weekend. So not a huge drop in temperatures, but definitely seeing increasing rain chances throughout Saturday and early into Sunday. That will be your time frame probably to avoid if you're trying to do any outdoor plans. Monday seeing a decrease in showers, more sunshine there and then back into the 70s by next Tuesday. As long as we get back up above 70. Thanks, bud.